if I'm playing over a vamp, I like to decide something to play in my left hand first, you know, before I would even think about what to play in my right hand. I want to have some sort of voicings. So if I'm going to play D7, uh, I don't want to think just D7 in general. I want to think maybe a four bar phrase. You know, I want to think in four bar phrases. That's a good place to start. And then um, I want to think of something to play in my left hand first, not just. You see how that it's too it's too scattered. You know, there's nothing to latch on to. Uh, a vamp has to have some some hook, and this should be familiar chords. Um, so I might want to establish like a four bar cycle, and I pick a chord. You know, I if it's like D7 sus, maybe something like this or something like this, something like this, something like this. And if I was going to think of a four bar cycle. Um, like so, one, two, one, two, three, four. Maybe I'd be sure to give myself that downbeat. And maybe what's in the middle doesn't matter that much, but I, I'm sure to give myself that downbeat every four bars. And this is something that might not even be heard but it will be felt um, and it will make it easier to, to play with your with your right hand. Um, and then as far as the right hand, another thing that I would look out for if I have a vamp is I'd be careful not to, so be careful not to play too loud. Be careful, uh, you know, be sure you decide something in your left hand and then be careful not to give away all your range right away. Don't go like, if you have a vamp and you have to build something up, it's not good to start like this. See how I went all the way from here, I gave this away in the first three beats. You know, this is a pretty epic gesture. I mean, we play piano, so we don't think about it. But actually, to do this, you just covered an impossible amount of range. You know, that's something that no other instrument could even fathom doing. Um, and you don't want to give that all away too soon. And something that I like to think about, I actually made a video about this on, on Patreon, but I'll consciously think about deciding a range that I want to stay in. Horn players would do this, maybe guitar players. Well, horn players have to do it because they play a horn, and they don't have unlimited range like we do. But if I was going to play a D7 vamp, okay, so not too loud. Think of something to play in my left hand. And now I'm going to pick a range. I'm going to pick, what's a nice, like a nice middle register range? I'm just going to pick these three notes. This range, which is these four notes. And I'm not going to think about chord changes. I'm not going to think about D7. I'm not going to think about Mixolydian. I'm just going to play in this range. flat is kind of the outside note, right? But, and after I do that for a while, maybe gradually I want to expand the range because the ear starts to expect this range. Right, and then when you go here, that's a surprise. Right? And you can imagine gradually expanding your range as your solo builds. And then maybe after you've done this for a while, then you can break it up, play something different with your left hand. So, okay, I'll, I'll give a short demonstration. So here's the left hand.
right. And then after you've heard this for so long, then when you do something different, it, it makes a statement. So I, I think about those sorts of elements if I'm, if I'm playing a, a vamp. We gotta be specific. We, we can't just say D7, go. We have to narrow some things down. Mm -hmm.